I know recently my um, child was hospitalized with a virus and had a, a very bad secondary, secondary bacterial infection. Um, it was pretty severe. I, they were not, I was not able to treat it at home. They had to give him antibiotics, uh, IV, and his fever was kind of raging out of control. He's three, and they had to pack his little head in ice packs. And it was very, very difficult as a mother to watch. Um, but sitting there beside him, watch, you know, laying on the bed at night, watching that drip down into his veins, and thinking that that medicine was making the difference on whether my little boy would go home and play. And knowing that what I do every day made it possible that that medicine was dripping, you know, down into him. It was a big deal. And I think that people really need to understand that every time it affects you, when it comes home to roost, when it's your family, when it's your mother, when it's your child, when it's you, it's important. It's really, really important, and researchers know that. They know it every day, and animal care technicians know it every day, and your attending vets know how important it is every day, and that's why they're on the front lines of animal research fighting for you and fighting for your family. I guess it always surprises me that um, people, you know, would never consider picketing a uh, children's hospital. You know, you would never see people standing out with horrible signs or ugly signs outside the doors of a children's hospital or outside the doors, um, you know, of somewhere where they're bringing people that have Alzheimer's or people that have other uh, critical illnesses, uh, maybe outside VA hospitals where we're treating our soldiers for for injuries that they've sustained in war. You would never see people out there picketing those and with these horrible signs, but they picket our research institutions. And to be honest, these research institutions are an integral part of what's happening in those hospitals. And so I guess that's what amazes me most is that so many, so much of the public doesn't make that connection. They don't understand that the work that's going into those research facilities is the work that's making the cures possible in those medical facilities. So I think that's the thing I wish people would really understand that the researchers that are working every day with these animals are making it possible for you know our soldiers to get prosthesis for for so many things to happen in the medical community and and it's just very very important i know my job plays an important role in advancing medical progress and i know the jobs of every single person that work in this industry and do it with dignity and respect and decency and dedication that every single one of their jobs matters. It amazes me every day how they can stay compassionate year after year after year. This is hard work. You know, it's emotionally taxing work. It's difficult for people to have to, to care for these animals, to love these animals, and then, you know, to see their lives end. It's a very, very hard thing. But these people not only love animals, they love people. And they want to find these cures, and they understand this long-term mission. And so every single person, you know, makes that contribution uh, when they're caring for these animals humanely and ethically. Every single person that's involved in the care of laboratory animals is important. We're all rung on that ladder. Maybe we're not the scientists that lead to a cure, but what we do every day, from the, the lowest person, from the person that's cleaning the cage, um, or the person that's shoveling manure, um, that person is rung on a ladder that could one day save the lives of your children, your grandchildren, your parents. It's you know the person that made it possible for your dog to be treated for heart disease or for maybe one day finding a cure for uh, Alzheimer's or, or cancer that affects your child. You know, that, is, that person is a rung on that ladder and without that, that person perhaps we wouldn't get you know, to that cure. So every single person matters and their work is valuable and important. Well, I would like for people to know that 
laboratory animal trainers are out there, you know, and we are a group and we are out there making sure that people are using animals in the very best way possible. Um, we are available to help people with procedures, to help people understand regulations. And there are a lot of us, there are a lot of members of our team, not just trainers, but I cook administrators, people within offices of uh, laboratory animal care, uh, attending veterinarians. All of these people are working hard every day to oversee the use of these animals and to make sure that research animals are really cared for in a way that is respectful, is dignified, um, and that just represents the very best of our industry. I wish more of the public could step into our animal facilities, they could see our animals. Um, I would love it if my institutional administrators would let me open the doors because we have nothing to hide. You know, we, we have nothing to be ashamed of. What we do every day is done with decency and with respect by a lot, a lot of hardworking, dedicated individuals. And I would love to, to just let people into my world so they could know how well it really is run.